As you know, Hamish has had his feeding tube for about six weeks now. How do you think he's getting on? I, I don't see any change. He's quite settled. He wouldn't want to be stuck like this. I don't know. I think he is responding more and uh, surely it's early days and I, I think we, we can't just give up now. Have you had a chance to chat to the therapist to see how he's doing in therapy? You have. Um, he's, he seems to be doing okay but he, after his first stroke he was devastated. He wouldn't want to be like this. It's really helpful to hear about these sorts of conversations you've had with him before because that helps us to decide um, what to do and what would be in his best interests. I know Dad was a bit down after his stroke, but he loved spending time with the family. I know he wants to get well again. I would miss him. Well, I want him to get well again too. But it's just so hard to talk about these things and I tried so hard to keep him positive after the last stroke. I fully understand this is a really difficult situation. We need to try and think what would be best for him in this situation. I can see this is really difficult for you. We need to do what's going to be best for him. The therapists have really noticed the same thing as you, that he's not really improving at all with therapy. And we could put a permanent feeding tube in, that would keep him alive. But I think that he would end up being severely disabled. We really need to think about whether that would be best for him and what he would want if he could express his views about this.